My name is Wolf Brazier. I was born near the Royal Marines Training Center in Devon, England. I've had to endure a tough life in the urban jungle as an administrative assistant. I've crossed the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. I've escaped from Epcot Center in Orlando. And I've been to the top of Chicago's Sears Tower, twice. The city can be quite treacherous, but I'm gonna show you the skills needed to survive. Today on Man vs. City, I'm at Wrigley Field, home of the Chicago Cubs. I'm gonna show you how to still have a good time in spite of the train wreck you'll be watching on the field. Each year, millions of people pay good money to watch the Cubs collapse. From overpriced beer to avoiding dysentery in the loo, attending a game can be fraught with danger. Even though there's almost a 0% chance of the Cubs even winning the game, and even less of a chance they'll make the playoffs, we're gonna sally forth through this Picasso of baseball incompetence and have a nice afternoon. about to enter one of the most sad, haunted, and dangerous places in American history. As with any dangerous situation that you enter into, it's important to come prepared. In this case, that means getting camouflage. just trying to find your seat. You can see it's almost a maze of chairs and aisles. There are more than 40,000 seats here at Wrigley Field. Some people even spend their hard-earned cash just for a bitch. Camouflage going. That means doing some of this. 
batting second and playing left field. Now, I have the scent of a regular Wrigley Field attendee. Look at that. It's a helmet and it's got ice cream in it. There's one way to eat ice cream. It's in a helmet. There's one place you want to go when you're at a ballpark. It's not one of these bars that's in the stadium. It's nothing but a haven of douchebaggery in there. I don't want to subject myself to that. I can find that well enough in the seats or outside when the game's over. of this mass of humanity can be quite overwhelming at first. Just take a deep breath, relax, and you'll get through it. No problem. Something exciting does end up happening. It's always crucial to remain calm and don't panic. Blend in, go with the flow. Woo! Make sure you know the words of the song or you'll look like a white wanker. start leaving early. It's only now the ninth inning, but you can see people starting to file out. They want to get a head start on getting to their cars and getting home. We're going to stay around here until the game's completely over, just to show you what it's like to be immersed right in the middle of the mall when the game's over and everyone leaves at once. It's like coming out of a cave. You've been lost and just so sad. Not seeing daylight and it really gives you hope, hope and humanity, and maybe next year. One thing I learned at the Cubs game today, there may just be some crying in baseball. But as I navigate the current of the crowd, I realize a familiar bond has been formed by those of us who watched the Cubs lose today. No matter how expensive the seats, no matter how expensive the food, no matter how expensive the sadness of another heart-wrenching Cubs loss, no amount of money can purchase the memories that we were blessed with here today. They say it's even more enjoyable if you bring a friend or family member along.